The junior board meets every fortnight in SLH's head office and we basically get together to talk about issues that affect the local community. One in particular is illegal money lenders. Um, it was decided for by the junior board that the best way for us to get the message across was to do it in a fun and interactive way. So they've decided to go down the performing art route and do a production. They wanted to do this play, they wanted to get their young people involved, they wanted to get their tenants involved. Um, so we set it up and they ran with it basically and we had two performances, over 200 people came over two nights and a fantastic way to get the message out to people that loan sharks are not to be tolerated. The illegal money and them play called A Loan in Liverpool is like, it came about because there's loads of loan sharks and that in the area. So Christine in junior, in junior board meeting, she said, should we do a play about it? Because we've got our own new theatre company so we all went yeah and then that's how it came about. The young people worked with me to write the script, put down their ideas to say well this is what a loan shark could do and um, this is how they would react and this is how a victim would react so we basically got a number of visitors in to meet with the young people to, um, so we had the illegal money lending team, we had Carol Hyten from the Brian G. Yields Trust who basically gave us a victim's perspective. She worked really closely with the characters to give her side of the story so they could basically say this is how it affected me and we thought the best way to do it was put it across in a production. Our young people have been absolutely inspirational in going out, writing their own play, producing their own play, filming it, going around all the schools to educate people in the local area that there is another way. We were only meant to do one, but because of its popularity, it ended up doing two. Um, so we ended up hitting over 400 people doing it live. Um, we then chose, as a group of junior board members, to film it and put it on YouTube, which we've had over 600 hits to date. Um, so we're quite pleased that the message is getting spread, not just in our, on our estate, but wider. If young people know about them, then... They're not they, going to do it themselves. Yes. They're not, if, if someone just comes up to them randomly and just ask them if they want to lend money, then you'll not they'll Sorry. think about it. And then it'll might it might just stay in the head to put the performance and then and you got they just go aim no tired and just walk away. Because you're better off going to your family, aren't you, really? Just having a youth board in itself is amazing. Having young people being able to comment on their area, their future, it gives them buy-in. That's got to be good for the area. Children and young people can get a message over uh, quite strongly. Uh, and that's proved to be the case uh, with, with this play. Uh, it has been um, widely acclaimed across the community and a number of people have, have said how much it provoked them into, you know, into thinking about the issues. If people are sitting in the audience, like whoever's watching it, um, and if it's happened to them, they're going to know what to do and how to deal with it. And they're going to—they're just going to feel like they've done the wrong thing, and it wasn't right to go to a loan shop because they put interest on the money for them. Our junior board do fantastic things with young people to try and build up their skills, build up their confidence, give them opportunities, and get them in a position where they're work ready. We do community projects. Um, like we've painted a church, haven't we? Yeah. Planters for the old people. Mm. And we have a budget for the year, set for the year. The reason really we want to work with the younger age group particularly is to stop it before it happens. It's, it's so much harder when people have got into that habit of credit cards, of relying on easy money. It's then very difficult to pay that debt back. And if they haven't got the means coming in to pay that debt back, then it becomes an impossible task for them. And they spend their whole lives just in that debt um, roller coaster, you know, paying it off, building it up, paying it up, building it up. Some people come and see us, don't they? Like, they yeah. come to watch our meetings to see, like, what, because there's a few people setting up ones, like, they're only junior, junior boards, it's not going to call it like that, but. They come and see us, like watch what we do, and I take notes, and then they tell us what they're try going to try and do. South Liverpool Looms do a good job of it because if they don't listen, how do they know what children and teenagers and that want in the in Speaker Garston, in the in their own community? So I think it's just part of the customer service we have with South Liverpool Homes. We obviously uh, take. Uh, 
a lot of time to make sure that our tenants are supported and we can offer the best possible service we do or we can to our tenants and I think this is part of saying to our tenants look if you're in trouble or you've got issues or you're worried about anything there is somebody here who can help you and support you through that process.